Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, welcome to another beautiful day in sunny South Florida. I just wanted to do a quick review uh, on my year ownership of the Aerial Rider Scrambler D-Class model. Um, and first I just want to start off and say I love this thing. It's been the most fun on a bike, if you can call it a bike, uh, you could you could have. And when I say you can call it a bike, I don't know if people in the bike world actually consider this a bike, and I'll tell you why. Um, well, first thing is, I barely pedal. <laughs> My wife pedals a lot more than I do. I, I personally use this like a little mini bike, and I ride the streets. Um, it's just super fun, and it's hard not to throttle this thing everywhere that you go um, this particular model is the dual motor model so it has a, a hub in the front it's got a hub in the back and this bike gets ridden so it's definitely a little dirty um, this particular bike has over 400 miles on it I hope you can see that go through a couple of different modes Max speed, 34.8 miles an hour. My last trip was uh, about 30 or 40 miles, but it says uh, 350. I haven't reset it. Um, so, yeah, so far so good. A year ownership, no serious issues, no problems. Other than squeaky brakes, this thing has been pretty reliable. Um, anything that i would change on it i would probably have the street tires on it these are the knobby tires and it's, i don't know if you you're going to be able to see this or not but it's starting to wear out a little bit especially because i only ride it on the street and when you have both motors on the front tire uh spins a lot so it will spin get grip and then go i'm sure there's ways to eliminate that by leaning more like in a drag style position to get it to have more traction but if you don't you will spin the front tire when you ride it with the both motors on um and that's part of the fun my wife hates that i love it i think it's really good and fun um one of the main reasons for getting the bike was the dual motors so it's one of the quicker bikes available out on the market and this bike just looks really good uh it's it's cool in person bigger in person than in photos or in videos and um it's it's just a it's just an all-around cool bike with the black the matte black um this particular bike has the leather grips on it um i added a phone clip or um, holder to hold my cell phone and it actually has a a port here so you can actually charge your cell phone as well um so for year ownership like i was saying no major issues other than um just putting air in the tires for not riding it that much last year i didn't ride it as much as i wanted to um but now just kind of making up for it uh and there was nothing that i could complain about um the only thing that I would say, uh, you know, I would add or, or, or do is have the street tires on it uh, instead of the knobby tires. I think that would be a little bit of a better ride, especially if you're riding on the street all the time. But you know what? Uh, it, it is what it is, and it's good for now. When I replace these tires, I will replace them with the street tires. Um, so nothing nothing negative to say. I, I, I love the bike. It's a lot of fun um, I use it more as like I was saying like a mini bike. I use the throttle more than I do the pedals um, And it has gears so you can use the pedals, but eh, it, you get one of these I think for for the motors um, Kind of like how Casey Neistat rode his his uh, e-bike uh, kind of the same with me just kind of ripping on it Just having a blast. That's what they're all about. It's not really for the exercise. It's for the fun um, um, I'm going to link my uh, uh, link below for a discount on this bike. If this is something you, you're kind of thinking about, I have other videos kind of breaking down a little bit more on the bike. Um, this is just kind of a recap of my year experience, which uh, overall was very good. And uh, it's holding up great. 
Um, no rust. I, well, I keep it in the house. I store it in the house so it doesn't really hit the weather too much. But I have been out where it has been drizzling and everything's been good. Uh, the batteries have been good. Um, charges. Um, in a couple hours, it takes a little bit longer if you don't have the quick uh, quick charge uh, charger. Um, but, you know, it takes a couple hours to charge it fully. Probably five or six hours. Um, but the battery lasts really long. Definitely get over 60 miles on it. I've never clocked it. I know I said I was going to, but I never actually clocked it on how long uh, I actually went on one battery because pretty much I fully charge it and ride it for days. And, you know, even on 20%, you're getting a decent amount of range, 25, 30 miles. So um, I, I've yet to kind of stay on top of that um, or, you know, kind of keep track of it but I, I definitely should because it's kind of it kind of well guys if this is the type of content you like to watch bike riding wave runner car content just kind of having outdoor fun uh definitely subscribe to my channel like the video it definitely will help me out a lot and uh hopefully i see you next video have a great day